Hello and welcome to Night Parades, the show where we watch anime and die inside for your entertainment. I'm Thanos. I'm Fat Man. And tonight we're reviewing Watamote. Let's get spoiler warning out of the way. We're gonna spoil basically everything. Well, basically everything that we can remember. Things that we remember and things that made us die inside. Oh. Like, this whole show made me die inside a little. Right, dude? What the hell are we doing? <laughs> so, basically, if you don't know about Watamote, or Watamote, however you pronounce it, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, be saying Watamote because it's fun to say. Okay. It's one of the cringiest shows, like ever. This is the second cringiest thing I've ever watched. The first being? It's a Christian video, that's all you need to know. Okay, never mind. That's a whole can of worms we don't want to get into. <laughs> <laughs> no need to edit that out, though. Okay. Oh. Ex explain Wazumote. Explain this chick that we just cannot get behind. Okay, so... Watamote, also titled... No matter how I look at it, it's you guys' fault I'm not popular, is about a 15-year-old high school student named Tomoko Kuroki, who is just so antisocial. Her antisocial behavior puts... I, I hazard to say it puts freaking Sato to shame. She thinks she'll be great at talking to people because she plays a lot of dating sims. I mean, I play a lot of dating sims. But... It becomes... It work. Becomes very clear very early on that she just cannot socialize. She doesn't do people in any semblance of the word. I initially chose this anime to get back at Fenris for making me watch Mysterious Girlfriend X last week. <laughs> but it backfired. Because I hate this. I hate this too, but thanks. I love this. I, I hate things. I hate it. The <laughs> mm? I'ma pick a bad show that's gonna make you hate it. I forgot how much I would suffer. You suffered, I suffered, he, she, we suffered. I also just wanted to finally get this off of my on hold list. Oh, yeah, big move, getting shit off your on-hold list. Because I watched this when it came out. So did I. I watched four episodes in, <laughs> and, and then I that couldn't scene anymore. And then happened. The scene happened where you physically couldn't cringe any harder. Right, dude? I don't even want to talk about this show. Okay, so Tomoko is a hardcore nerd. And she has done something that has stuck with pretty much all of us nerds. Like, I'm gonna confess something. There was an episode where Tomoko was listening to a drama CD. Hmm. And I'm about to confess something really bad, aren't I? Uh, not too bad. And it was just like something about Yandere boys. Just, it was something that like... Them kidnapping you or verbally abusing you, I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but I looked up the same drama CD she mentioned and listened to it. Oh. And ever since then, I've kind of liked ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh god, it's so bad. Confession. Oh god, I hate it. I love it. There was an episode where in the beginning she was reading on some forum that uh, you get erotic dreams when you sleep on your stomach. So I tried that after watching that. Didn't work. Almost suffocated. Oh no, dude. So. <laughs> oh wait, was that back when you first watched it in high school? Yeah. Dude, I physically can sleep on my stomach, so... I'm like, damn, I'm missing out. You're not missing much. Mm mm. But my word, this show simultaneously strikes a chord 
in every it, this hurts this hits me right in my cringe bone <laughs> in a way few things can like i'm i'm a person who can watch a christian cringe compilation and not even blink oh i've seen some wild shit dude and some crazy cringe things and now honestly watamote has been the worst thing i've laid my eyes upon so watamote or no matter how i look at it it's you guys fault i'm not popular is a japanese manga series written and illustrated by niko tanigawa it began publication on august 4th 2011 and is currently ongoing there are 13 volumes out so far and the anime had 12 episodes and one OVA. We did not watch the OVA. Because we don't hate ourselves that much. Speak for yourself. Hmm? I'm probably going to watch it later. I'm... I just read the manga because word on the street is... By the street, I mean my brother who barged in while, I, while we were watching this said, In the manga, apparently Tomoko becomes popular. I don't believe you. I... I refuse to believe that. Actually, no. It's possible? Because she oh, did show a bit of character growth by the end of the show. Yeah. So, we watched the first nine episodes earlier on in the week. Yes, we did. And we decided to watch the last three before we started recording today so we could fill ourselves with the hate and cringe we had for the show. Oh, the agony. But it turns out, the last three episodes weren't all that cringy. That backfired completely. After episode 9, the show turns a 180, and is just kinda wholesome for a bit. Yeah. Which had me genuinely surprised. Episode 10 had such an amazing transition from the opening scene into the OP. Oh yeah, no, that was beautiful. Let's discuss that. Like, Tomoko's basically transferred to the second row of seats in class and is surrounded by people, and she's got a stomach ache, and for those who don't know, the OP's got a bit of a metal thing going on. A bit of some screaming. Metal and chains and... Screaming. <sighs> edginess. So beautiful. It, it's really grungy and I really like it. It has really grown on me. We haven't skipped the opening once. Usually we sometimes skip it a little, even if it's one we've praised, right? Yeah. This one was just so fun to listen to. Yeah. The OP shares the title of the show. No matter how I look at it, it's you guys' fault I'm not popular. Performed by... Konomi, Suzuki, and Kiba of Akiba. Yeah, but it's just really good. High energy, like, cool visuals. Amazing visuals. I made it up there with, in, like, visual style for OPs. It's like some JoJo shit. <laughs> but not JoJo. Not, not exactly JoJo's. But good. It's pretty good. Yeah, episode 10 was just the first episode in which nothing cringy happened, and is... For that reason, our favorite. But, oh, some of the cringe was really entertaining to watch, because... But it, hurts, it hurts my soul. <laughs> I could... Uh, <laughs> real talk, I could not have gotten through this anime if I hadn't watched it with you. Same! And part of the enjoyment of the show was listening to you react to it. Uh, is this like the reverse of what happened last time? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> I deserve this. This was just an intentionally bad show. The it, joke it... is that it's bad. And it's, it's like, it, I like stuff like that, like, I'm trying to explain, but have you seen, like, have you ever seen something like, 
Oh, uh, shit. I'm trying to think of something like that. Um, the original Evil Dead. Wait, no, not the original Evil Dead, but more like Army of Darkness? I haven't. Oh my god, Army of Darkness 2. Well, Evil Dead Army of Darkness is by far the funniest, scary movie I've ever watched. Oh? To briefly sum it up, are you familiar with the Evil Dead in any semblance? Not at all. That's the series that Ash is from, right? Yes. I have played Poker Night, and that is all of the exposure I've had to that character. But so, it stars Ash Williams as the Necronomicon sends him to medieval times, as he fights an army of deadites and controls the locals with his boomstick. <laughs> and essentially that. Hmm. It's beautiful. I love it. It's hilarious. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And how does that relate to Watamote? Because it's also intentionally bad. Oh. In that sense, you know? What you just described sounds amazing, though. <laughs> well, the dialogue, though. <laughs> the dialogue is so bad. I love it. <laughs> what you is it? Like, one-liners and... Yeah, hail to the king, baby. <laughs> Jeez, dude, I just love it. Like, I love Evil Dead. Evil Dead's, like, my favorite franchise. Mostly because it was my dad's favorite scary movie. And by extension, he played it a lot. Well, he showed it a couple times. Ah. Which m meant I had a lot of exposure to Evil Dead. <laughs> which also means that... I can quote some parts of movies word for word. Speaking of so bad it's good, the, uh, the ED. Yeah, the ED is horrible. I love it. <clears throat> the ED is called No Matter How I Look At It, It's Not My Fault. Sung by Izumi Kita, the voice actor that voiced our main girl, Tomoko. Who and... is by far the worst anime girl I've ever wit bore witness to. She's pretty terrible. Fight me. <laughs> In the comment section. Yes, please comment. Don't be too desperate. <laughs> Anybody comment, please. Is that too desperate? I feel desperate some days. <laughs> How do we get likes? And Make better comments? content? Oof, oof. Ouchie. I know, right? Ouchie. Oh, well. well. Well, we're working on it. Okay. So let's talk about how bad Tomoko is. In every single <clears throat> sense of the word. She takes every scenario in the worst possible direction. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know how to talk to people. She lies to her friends to make her feel more important. She's frequently called her... Not, not to her friend her one friend's face, but frequently called them a slut, even though she's possibly the nicest girl I've ever met. Okay, okay. So, Yuchan was one of Tomoko's friends that went to middle school with her. Back when Tomoko was a chuni. And Yuchan was like her only friend in middle school. They go to different schools now, and Yuchan has kind of prettied herself up and it's kind of popular. She so, grew up. Yeah. A bit more. And Tomoko regularly calls her a slut because she has friends. And... <sighs> it's just so mean. Tomoko is very mean-spirited. And the show is basically all of her plots to become popular. And which... all of them backfiring, which makes you feel somewhat good. Yeah. Because she's just so horrible. I Tomoko. really, really want her to mature a bit. Yeah, Tomoko needs to stop. I want to see her make some progress, but she's just so terrible. Just, no. No, thank you. That's how I feel about Tomoko. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was just remembering the initial scene that you showed me. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
<laughs> oh yeah, where I was like, bitch, you sure you want to watch this? Fenris showed me a scene further into the show that I hadn't watched yet. <laughs> Tomoko had gone to a meet and greet with some of the voice actors from the erotic games that she plays, and Tomoko had one of the voice actors say some dirty lines to her that she recorded, and cut together with her own voice to make a erotic scenario. She asked for every single statement. I... I hate it. And then she's on her computer editing, and she plays it, and her mom walks in. And she realizes she had her headphones plugged into the input rather than the output, so her mom listened to the entire exchange. And she didn't even bother pressing stop. No. 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 Because it's funny, right? No. It's so funny when your mom walks in on you fucking listening to erotic shit. This is what people are laughing at these days, right? No. <laughs> I took my laughter to uh, fucked up jokes. When we got to that part in the show, we skipped over it because we couldn't we couldn't watch it. I couldn't <laughs> handle it. I couldn't handle it. It's I can't. I was just happy to see that I'm not the only one that does that. Oh yeah, that was nice to know. I love cringy shit when I cause it, but experiencing someone else's cringe is just a bit overwhelming for me sometimes, and I can't watch that. But watching me cringe is... <laughs> Enjoyable. It's just something about listening to me cringe that actually is pleasant. Especially when you know the shit I've actually witnessed. Maybe I'm right? a bit sadistic. I don't know. Yeah. No, you're a sick and twisted fuck. <laughs> you are a sick and twisted fuck, but so am I. Why, thank you. You are not nearly as sick and twisted as the, some of the stuff I enjoy, but it's something. How'd you, uh, how'd you like the look of the show? So, it looked fantastic when I was not trying to look away from the cringe. It was... Bright and colorful for the most part. Some super hyper-realistic images every once in a while. I like the overall look of the show. It looked very good. I... But... Go ahead. I love the animation for the ED. Like the multiple cell phones thing. That was yes! really nice. She's walking through the, uh, the cell phones. They keep getting... Knocked around. And she jumps into the next one. I... Or they pick up the phone and she falls into the next scene. <laughs> that ED was so... Catchy? It was. It, it, it's the one that was sung by the voice actor in the voice of the character, being really bad at singing, and it was kind of endearing. Yeah. It's like the, re it's like the reverse of what we got for... Mysterious Girlfriend X, where we get a nice song by the voice actor of the main girl. Yeah. But this time it's bad. You want to <laughs> die inside. Only a little bit. End my suffering anytime you want. Thank you. I thought I was going to have a lot more to say about this show, but I, I kind of don't want to put all you guys through this. Yeah. If you are a fan of Cringe, go check it out yourself. Absolutely. Do you have anything else to add, Fenris? Uh, I have a couple things to add, and they're not necessarily Watamote related. Oh yeah? But, also, just, the the scene with the voice acting guy reminds me <laughs> of a freaking 3am browser history. Oh boy. Oh god. Kill me now. Tomoko, stop. Can't do that. If I killed you now, we couldn't make any more episodes. 
I know, that'd be sad. It would be. For that reason only. No. <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Uh, I do believe this anime was especially cringy to us because... We've done cringy shit. To explain the show at its most basic level would be to say that it is satire of antisocial behavior taken to the extreme. And I don't know what it's like for everyone, but going through high school as a nerd, as someone that watched anime and did nerdy shit, uh, <laughs> That, that, that's, uh, that's the experience. But this show was that to the extreme. Mm-hmm. So it was very horrible and relatable at the same time. Yeah. Oh, also, he, he said something as we started this that I am absolutely enthused by. Oh? You said something. And then oh. we get to... I get to pick anything. The only reason you continued watching this with me. The reason I didn't tap out at the headphones scene. Is because I promised her, if we get through this, she can pick anything she wants for the next anime. It didn't even have to be an anime. No, we will... Do anything. Video game, movie, anime, or live action. Yeah. You but it was... had so much to pick from. But what did I you did... pick? First, we should probably explain my type of anime. Like, my type of shows I watch. Right? Uh, you like drama, horror, sad stuff. Sometimes all three in one. Yep. Monster. Mm hmm. Stuff, or some bizarre whack shit, right? Yeah. But, no, uh, watching this anime made me feel like I didn't want anything too sad, or too, too funny either, if that makes sense. Okay. Nor did I want to be super serious out of the gate, hmm. which is went into my choices of what I picked. So I decided to pick the anime adaptation for one of my favorite visual novels, Clanad. Oh boy. It's legendary for being sad, but the reason why I like it is because the end it, like, the first season, it's a good way to do the visual novel story proper, Hmm. Whilst keeping faithful to the true route. Okay. Which is fairly unique because most dating sims anime adaptations, they gotta pick one girl, you know? Yeah. But with Clan, they essentially give you a taste of all of them. And they did two OVAs for um two of the more popular girls. But we'll talk about that next week. Yes. Yes, we will. Anything else to add? Uh, I'll be reading the visual novel aside long, aside, alongside watching the anime. I mean, for, uh, Watamote. Oh, for Watamote? Oh, no. All right. Get me the fuck out of Watamote. <laughs> <laughs> so, in general, I... Would you suggest Watamote? I would. Oh, Show it to oh. a friend, if you're... Terrible like that. Yes. Uh, maybe play a drinking game with it. Oh, yes. Drink every <laughs> time you cringe and you will be dead in a few minutes. Uh, yeah. Just, it's not enjoyable in the traditional sense. I was gonna say it's the watch with friends kind of anime. I, I couldn't have watched it if it wasn't with someone else. Yeah. I... Sorry. Will never watch this anime again. I will never suggest anyone watch this again. But I think I enjoyed it overall. Which is 
I give it a seven. Seven's about right. Usually you don't do numbers. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, we've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well in the comments below and on our Discord. The Night Parade has now come to an end. Next week... Clannad! Perfect.